So Infinity version 10, the four key enhancements, the third I want to talk about is supporting hybrid environments. So we have a serverless product that what it does is Uniprint enables you to push down direct IP printers. So this is not using the uni universal uh, Uniprint UPD. This is direct IP printers when it makes more sense in your organization. So if you look in our console here, uh, we have an IP printer section. And a lot of the reasons in organizations that companies switch uh, from printing through print servers and moving to direct IP printers is a cost savings, and there's no reason for them to have those print servers in certain scenarios. So I have a print server right here, and we have a migration tool that runs on can run on any print server. And what that tool does is it migrates all the drivers, all the queues, all the IP addresses to our Uniprint serverless repository server. And in my environment, this is my Uniprint bridge server one here. So if I go back to this print server and I run this migration tool, that's the address to my Uniprint um, printer rep serverless rep repository server. And there's four queues on this print server. So I'm going to pick them, select my area, and you will see that all these queues will be migrated to, from the print server to my repository server. At that point, this print server can be to totally powered down and turned off, and the cost savings can begin. On my primary bridge here, if I click IP printers, all the printers that I have uploaded are now in my printer repository server. Moving back to our PrintPal tool, administrators are then able to map printers to end users. And as you can see, there's an IP printer section here, and these printers do not use our universal print driver. So if I look in my company here at Prince Edward, I have a user called Bogdan and four direct IP printers are mapping to his session. So if we, I have a Windows 10 machine running here and I'm logged in as the Bogdan user. So if we go ahead and take a peek in this session and devices and printers, sure enough, four printers plus the Uniprint VPQ, as you saw from my print pal mapping there, are mapped to Bogdan's user session. So this is uh, huge for administrators that want to do direct IP printing with the Uniprint version 10 Infinity product, as well as in certain scenarios can utilize our UPD and in certain scenarios could utilize direct IP printing. As Kanish said earlier, we're also very proud of, a, of another feature, which is our client session printing mapping. And this is our Uniprint client version 6, and this enhancement is included in our Uniprint client version 6. On this Windows 10 desktop, I've made a session RDP up to a ZenApp server. And the way that this new Uniprint client session printing works is when I log in, the printers will be mapped up to the session. As you can see, they're all mapped together. Uh, this is what Server 2016 or Windows 10 does if you're using the same port or the same driver and we're using the same driver. And if you take a look here at my Dell, this is the native driver uh, dialog that we will be able to provide. So all the advanced functionality will be included. If I take a look at our printer properties of the Dell here and go to advanced, you can see it uses our Uniprint driver 10. So what that means for the administrator is on their Citrix server, uh, their VMware server, their Microsoft RDS server, the only driver that will be needed is the Uniprint driver 10. So you don't, you won't have to worry about print spooler instability when loading up all the manufacturer's drivers up to the application server that you'll be using. Moving back to our bridge server and our console for our healthcare customers, we have included our smart route printing. So the, in the example here, these would be floors in a hospital. And what our smart route printing is for um, EMRs that don't function that well um, with printing, 
they're very limited. Uh, they would, for example, they would have local queues called printer one or printer two, and administrators have a challenge of getting those print jobs to the correct printers on the print server. So in the example here, the way the smart route printing works, uh, for a lot of our Meditech customers would use this in order to make it easy on them in, in getting the right stations, which usually do not move in hospitals, the right printers. So in this example here, if I just drag this over, uh, it would, so on the, the EMR server for whatever application it is, the queue name would be printer one, and the host name of the machine connecting would be station one, as you can see by the computer icon. And then the end printer on the print server would be the Xerox work center 165 slash 175 UP. And that's on our print server. So what this tool does is for our healthcare customers, let them make smart smart mappings to their printers on their print servers from EM, EMR programs that might not have the best printing subsystems.